Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Land Rover Defender coils. Um, and this is probably the most common uh, confusion here with lifting the rear end of the Pathfinder is uh, these Land Rover Defender coil uh, part numbers. So here we go. Um, the three most common part numbers, or really the three only applicable part numbers for a two to three inch lift are um, 9446, 9447, 9449. When you enter part numbers onto part number websites, you're going to put an NRC in front of all those part numbers, uh, but for brevity, we'll refer to them just by the numbers. But NRC, 9446, uh, when you're looking up those part numbers, those are the three letters you need to add. Um, so anyway, uh, the two things that distinguish the lift heights uh, in these coils mainly um, are understood to be the spring rate in pounds per inch and the length of the coil when there's no weight on it also in inches. Um, so our 9446 is generally attributed as giving the most lift height. Now um, your individual results are going to vary a little bit depending on how much weight you keep in the rear. But generally, this is considered to be the tallest uh, lift spring, the highest lifting spring in the rear of the Pathfinder. Um, you're going to be looking at the upper two inches, um, you know, 2.75, maybe three inches, um, depending on how much weight you have in the back. Um, mainly is going to affect that. And then, so there's that. And then separate from that, I'll say are the 9447 and the 9449. These are very similar springs because they have the same spring length, but the 9449 is the heavy duty option. Uh, you'll notice that it has a much higher spring rate than either of these two. Um, so whereas the 9446 is the tallest of the coils, it uh, has a lower spring rate than the 9449. So for certain, the 9446, since it's the same spring rate, but it's taller, is going to lift higher than a 9447. But the 9449, um, again, depending on how much weight you have in the rear, could make a noticeable difference over the 9447 because it has a 50 pounds per inch higher spring rate. Um, so if you keep a lot of weight in the rear, generally the 9449 is the most common option. Um, for people with a lot of weight. Uh, I'm not sure at what weight threshold does a 9449 start to look like a 9446 or at what point that ever happens. Um, this is a 0.4 inch difference almost over here in uh, extended length. But those are the difference between your coils part numbers. So in lift height, um, all things being equal, if you have little to no weight in the back or maybe even a fair amount of weight, you're probably going to see 9446 as your number one highest lifting coil somewhere in the three inch family. You're probably going to see 9447 as your lowest coil. So that's going to be the one that is closest to two to two and a half inches. And then your 9449 is going to be somewhere higher than this 9447, um, somewhere in the two to two and a half to two and a half plus. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna guarantee lift height numbers on these um, since, uh, well, determining lift height numbers is tricky because almost every year Pathfinder has different stock tire sizes and different fender flares and different FSM spec heights. So it's really hard to say exactly how much lift you're getting over stock. But if you want the smallest lift height, this is number three smallest and this is number two um, so those are going to be um, in order highest lifting probably second highest but maybe not noticeably compared to your third highest lifting spring um, if you have any questions let me know but thanks for watching guys